Thank you for being our wonderful gold customers. We really appreciate it. It's so great being back here in the beautiful Denver area. We love Colorado. We love you guys. And now it's time for the PS de Resistance. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome for our fabulous duo, Jensen Ackles, Jared Padalecki. Super late on Friday because we're trying to bring you guys a new season. Woo! We got in yesterday and I didn't feel it yesterday. I think I just assumed I was tired because of the travel. Then this morning I was bending down to like take my socks off. And it's like, <sighs> <laughs> that's the face I make when I breathe in. <laughs> Awful. Welcome man. to my life. Never do it again. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes I get nervous. Get out of breath brushing my teeth. I understand why. You got a lot of teeth. You should get rid of some of them. Right? Can I, yeah. Can I, yeah. What? No. But if you if you had half the teeth, you wouldn't get as tired brushing. If you had a tooth, if you were brushing your tooth, you wouldn't expend so much energy. And welcome to jet lag, Jay. What did y'all did y'all all see the uh, the Supernatural two parody? Yeah. Yeah. Those girls, oh well, jeez, thank y'all. <laughs> Those girls are ridiculous, and we uh, so we got a chance to watch it right before they released it. Uh, Cliffy had told us like, hey, they want to they want to watch you watching it, and I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> so, they want to make sure you guys dig it. You're happy. About Is it some weird fetish that we don't know about? <laughs> So we're like, oh, cool. Or they want you to watch the show. I was like, of course we want to watch it. Like, well, they want to watch you watch it. I was like, huh? okay, how do we do that? So you had to download Skype or something? I don't know. So it's Cliff and Jensen and I sitting, in me, sitting like in his trailer trying to figure out how to download Skype. And <laughs> Welcome to 2018. <laughs> can you see me? Yes. Can you? Okay, I can see you. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Howie. Hi, guys. Uh, so, so what? Okay. We lost you. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> it's like when you're doing the... Anyways, we saw it and it was uh, awesome. And then they instantly regretted wanting to watch us watch it. <laughs> yes, Facebook Live is also confusing. <laughs> but this was, we had For to watch Jensen. the video while they could see us watching it. So we couldn't Facebook Live it. I'm still oh. confused. <laughs> it's all those teeth, man. <laughs> she goes, she goes, she uh, any first timers? How's it going so far? Right. Woo! I was gonna make a joke. <laughs> Those aren't going well this morning, so let's steer clear. <laughs> yeah. I'll make that joke later. I will. Yeah. That's an afternoon joke. Uh, yeah, that's an afternoon joke. All right. So before we just jabber, um, yes. That was a bad now repeat the question. <laughs> no. By the way, by the way, I'm on to you. I'm on to you. That was her long-winded way of saying, do we have scenes of Sam and Michael together? <laughs> I've known you far too long to fall for that. 
ballot attempt, a valiant attempt. Um, it, without giving away too much, um, it is very different, not for just if and when we see Sam and Michael, but for if and when we see Sam and Dean post Michael. Yeah. You know, because there's still that little bit of when, when Sam went to the cage, he kind of came back, but he didn't really, so there's that sort of hesitant, like look for signs of, uh, of maybe all, all is not what it seems. Um, other than that, slide, slide. slide. <laughs> I got to try. Well, well done. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't know how I was going to do it. So he still there's doesn't. no way that he could have, <laughs> if we were hypothetically having scenes together as those two characters, he wouldn't have known because I didn't even know. Um, I'll say this, the first time I saw Michael was at Comic-Con. Because I, yeah, is anybody at Comic-Con with us? <laughs> awesome, yeah, so they showed the scene, the, the kind of Michael scene. Um, that was the first time I had really seen it. And we had been filming for about a week, so. I still don't know how I'm going to play him. I just, <laughs> it just blacks out and figure it out. <laughs> He's got a lot of teeth. Yes. <laughs> oh God. The latest prank. I don't know if we've had enough Alex or Misha on set. To... <laughs> Certainly we have. That's the problem. Our pranks are not thought out. <laughs> They're not pre-planned. I had a plank. A plank. <laughs> You were planking this morning, I think. <laughs> um, I, I had a plank I wanted to do. I don't want to sell out Misha, but Misha has a fancy new car. Oh. Um, oh. Stupid idea, huh? Not bad. <laughs> um, and it's one that you plug in. Oh. Oh. So when you, and I think he has just enough energy. And he's in so the Misha. <laughs> <laughs> has flowers in it. Uh, I think there's kind of just enough energy to get the car to set from where he lives and then plug it in and then get back home. So I was really looking forward to unplugging it, but something happened to the main brain of it, so I didn't get a chance to do it yet. <laughs> so, yeah. zippity, zippity, do that. The witch? God, no. <laughs> That's what Uber's for. <laughs> Well, in Canada, it's Uber A. Uber A. <laughs> Apologies, my sincere apologies. Yes. So, my name's Stacy. This is and Jared. Jared. <laughs> Dear friend and coworker Tracy, we are both high risk. Stacy and Tracy. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> We are both high risk OBGYN ultrasound techs. Oh wow. And so every time you guys grow your family, you think, oh my god, it would be such an honor to scan your babies. <laughs> we find surprise twins all the time, anywhere from six weeks to twenty weeks. And actually if you really don't want twins, don't go to Tracy because she finds them all the time. How dare you, Tracy? <laughs> But our question is basically directed at Jensen, so when people find out Good, they have twins... Good, because it's going to be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we nervous. get reactions from fear to shock. We've had dads pass out on us. I mean, it's crazy. So how far along were you when you found out you were having twins, and what was your reaction? So uh, he and I were actually um, overseas um, doing something similar to this, and um, Daniil had, had found out on our way back. And so, um, she didn't tell me that. I thought I was gonna come back and we were gonna go together. But she went ahead and preempted it. <laughs> and, uh, and so, when we arrived at the international arrivals there at the airport, uh, and we came out, um, JJ came running up to me with a card. This is in the middle of a very crowded airport. And, for a couple weeks also. And then you know, kind of stayed back, and, and JJ's like, open it, Daddy, open it. I said, all right, all right. So I opened it up, and basically the gist of it was that we're having twins. And it was a very, very smart move on my wife's part because we were in a crowded airport. <laughs> so my reaction was very, very uh, contained. <laughs> and uh, so I, think I, I, think I, just, I think I just looked up, and I was like, no oh, shit. <laughs> He tried to run back through customs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I got tackled, and it was a 
Um, International incident? No, so it was, it was a little, it was, I, I would say just kind of numbness. Like I, I didn't really know what to think or feel or, immediately I was like, how did, how did this happen? <laughs> and I was there and I was like, man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I, but I was like, I was like, we didn't do any of like those the, the, the fertility things or any of that like crazy stuff. And then I, and then immediately I was like, she has six sets of twins on her side of the family. No. It's hereditary. Of course she's gonna have twins. And I, I, she had always wanted multiple children, and I was always the one going, why? We got one perfect one. Why? Why you hit risk? You know, messing that up, <laughs> and so it was a it was a heavy negotiation, and I was like, "Hey, look, one more, that's it." <laughs> and the reason I said one more because I I grew up in a family of with three kids, five, so it was a family of five, and we'd always have to wait for the booth at a restaurant. <laughs> I just wanted to sit at a four top, <laughs> uh, and I told Denise, and I was like, simple. "Look, we have one more kid. It's a four top every time we go out. Boom." Done. And she's like, okay, one more. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> where, where do y'all ultrasound? Um, we actually are just from Collins, so oh, we're okay. going to wear this clinic up there. I, I want to get ultrasounded. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm pregnant. <laughs> but is this something you don't know? <laughs> Obviously, we don't do it at the women's clinic, but we do do um, testicles and prostates. <laughs> Actually, a very valid thing. Very valid thing. <laughs> I'm going to leave it right there. Jensen, it's your turn. I think this crazy. She said doo doo. I don't know. She said doo doo. <laughs> that's what we're laughing that's at. What, that's what we're laughing at. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Denver. <laughs> no, you oh. get me. Uh, all right, right here. Yes. Okay, hi. Hi. Um, sorry, I'm really nervous. It's all right. So is he. <laughs> um, I was wondering, since um, the show when you guys have inspired us so much, if there was anything that have inspired you growing up? On the show, or like uh, just like in general, like when you were growing up, was there like some a show you watch, like people like you looked up to that you looked like that inspired you? <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, I uh, there were a lot. I mean, gosh, there were a lot of things I, I took inspiration from, whether it was in school or on TV or whatever it was. Uh, obviously, family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still growing up, <laughs> so I'm also inspired by better mics. Uh, there is no mic stand that can test what you do to it <laughs> and sustain the abuse. It's like those birthday candles. That you I haven't touched mine, them. and it's doing just fine. <laughs> but when you hang on, on it like a monkey, <laughs> I have to rest. Altitude. <laughs> I don't have so many teeth as you do. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think my my family. I mean, I think one of the reasons Supernatural inspires others is because of what it, kind of the story it tells about family and friends and how friends can become family and vice versa. Um, so I think my, you know my dad, my brother, my mother, my sister even is here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a funny, there's a, there's a quote I read, and I'm going to kind of bastardize it, um, and the quote was some of the effect of, if, if somebody hasn't impressed you, you haven't known them long enough, um, which is to say, give everybody a chance, you know, so I think it's maybe the same thing about motivation. If somebody hasn't motivated you or inspired you, then you haven't been paying attention. It's not their fault because they're not worth it. It's your fault for not really listening. So mm. I, I kind of gather inspiration from all of us, you included. So. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I also think the landscape is a little bit differently, different now than it was when we were uh, when we were growing up. Because as far as uh, television, and movies, and stuff, they weren't readily available to us like they are today. Right. We didn't have Netflix. We didn't have you know downloadable streaming content and all that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> do you want to just hold the mic? Be 
you remember waiting by the radio for hours, like for your favorite song? Now you can yeah. Yes. No, no, no. It was uh, you would tape it on a cassette tape. Yes. 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 Just a full radio yes. program, yes. just to get your song, and then you would remember those double cassette things, yes. and then you would transfer it on to, <laughs> and that's how mixtapes were born. Yes. I'm so sad that there are people on the planet that will never have the joy and pain of having to stick your finger <laughs> and wind it. Pencil! Pencil! Go buy an old cassette recorder and some cassette tapes and just play. <laughs> it's, you know, like, it's vintage now. now it's like, well, now it's, I think uh, Jim Jeffries or somebody tells us a uh, joke about being on an airplane and someone's on their Wi Fi, like, ugh. Oh, so slow. And he's like, we're traveling 600 miles an hour through space. <laughs> and the internet is slow and you're bitching like <laughs> um, Yeah, so it was, as far as like finding those shows or finding that kind of content that inspired us, it was a little bit more difficult growing up. We kind of had to find it in other ways. Um, but I will say that uh, I, I found my, more of mine in movies. Um, movies like Goonies and things like that. Uh, you know, that, that was, yeah, you want to you wanna get a, an idea of what it was like when we were growing up, watch Goonies. <laughs> we, were on our, we were on our bikes all day, every day. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, thank um, you. I'm thank you, I love you guys. Love you back, and home alone, prank away. Yes! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> My name's Allison, I'm my best friend, I'm Hi guys. That almost rhymes. Like Stacy and Tracy, Allison, and Melissa. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, and a couple of S's. There's an S in there. <laughs> well, going off of what you said about um, talking about your kids and how you have one perfect one, I only have one perfect one. Uh, right? Right. right. I, my husband finally convinced me that's all we need. Um, but my question is, I work just eight to five, Monday through Friday. My, like being a working mom is hard as hell. Yes, yes. How do you guys do it? I mean, you Well, first, we're not moms. <laughs> Second, well, this isn't work. <laughs> no, I just, my, my husband, you know, helps me out as much as he can too, but we both work and like, it's so hard to balance. So how do you guys balance your work, home, life? This is going to sound like a joke, but we don't. I mean, it's, it's really difficult. Our wives, luckily, are amazing and really uh, hardworking. Uh, we're gone a lot. And, uh, to all you moms, I think about, like, when I grew up, and he and I both grew up uh, in Texas with the older brother. Older brother, younger sister. You know, so I, I wonder how they did it. And I guess, as, as you know, and as all the other parents in here know, um, and others that are not parents at all, you just kind of make it happen. You just yeah. kind of yeah. run. That's what I'm in. doing. Yeah. And your head hits the pillow and you're like, How, what happened today? I don't know. Like, okay, I should sleep. Um, yep. Yeah, so kudos to you and everybody like you. Yes. Um, how old is your kid? He is going to be four in a couple months, so he's oh. fun right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> But it's uh, it's it is. And it's he loves tough. you guys too, by the way. And you're just gonna stop at the one, right? Uh, so far. Yeah. Hopefully well, nothing crazy happens. Because three is way easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, also my three-year-old has watched like you guys since I started watching you guys, and he loves you. So. Uh -huh. Awesome. That's good kid programming. I, right? Yeah. Right? We dig deep. I mean, we've been shooting for for uh, <laughs> Nick Jr. for a while. <laughs> Or they, or they, negotiations right they won't hear us. He doesn't um, get scared very PBS easily, kids. so he loves PBS it. kids, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was—I don't know uh, if, if follow my wife on Instagram, but she posted something recently about uh, about the person that helps us, uh, and yeah. and we're very fortunate to be able to afford uh, help. And it's uh, uh, so we have this wonderful woman named Yuli who comes uh, uh, just on weekdays uh, from eight to four, and gives Daniil help. And it's not like Daniil's like, okay, see, I'm going to the spa. Like, she then is like, okay, you take this one, I'll take this one. Uh, and that's because I'm, you know, we're gone. We're not there. We come home on the weekends, and um, that's when we step in, because, uh, like, Daniil doesn't have any help on the weekend, so it's just her. So right now, she's, she's juggling three by herself. And it's, you know, that's hard. It is tough 
but yeah. she wouldn't do it if she didn't absolutely adore and love those children. Yeah. And right. um, so it's, it goes a long way. It's, it's amazing what people can do when it's based out of love. And I think there's something to be said. I, I kind of say this or think about this constantly. I'm very, we're very blessed people, Jensen and I and our families, like all of us are very blessed. And, and he and I have very specific, you know, we get to stay at nice hotels, we get to eat at nice restaurants with our kids and this and that. And I, I'm comforted knowing that my children, our children are seeing us work for it, um, and seeing that it doesn't just magically appear and you get to have a car that works or a roof over your head or a, a new pair of shoes or whatever, a bicycle. Um, I, and weirdly enough, I was in my hotel room this morning watching some channel and it was about rats and, and, and treats and they can measure the neurons and what's happier or not and the rat, they called them trust fund rats where they just gave it a treat and they were not as happy as the rats that had to work for it by climbing up, literally. So there's, there's a certain sense of like satisfaction by having the sacrifice to get the same thing that the other trust, yeah. not, not any problem with any trust funders or by means. But <laughs> I'm saying like there's a, there's a certain joy that, I, that we get to experience in the hardships and that I hope our kids get to witness and try and emulate and be inspired by when they grow up. Thank you so much. Woo! So, uh, how about blue plaid right there, yeah. <laughs> I'm a Black sucker plaid. for plaid. <laughs> Hi, Hi, I'm new hey. to the fandom. Um, well, I was just wondering, what is your most embarrassing moment on set? <laughs> I rip my pants. <laughs> that wasn't embarrassing though, because you instantly were, you were laughing the loudest. <laughs> At yourself. I, I know one. I know one of his. Maybe not the most, but certainly one. And that was the the blood bowl. <laughs> so this was uh, this would have been six, seven, season six. It was a French mistake. It was French mistake. Yeah. So in French mistake, uh, um, Baltazar is uh, mixing this spell, and he's about to send us into a different, an alternate universe and that the bowl of blood was sitting on the back of the couch and we were standing right next to it about to jump out the window and it was kind of sitting there precariously and we were standing close and I was looking this way and Jared was looking this way and the bowl just started to tip and it just started to go, go, go and instead of literally just doing this <laughs> that's all he had to do it was just, oh, I'll just say that he did this <laughs> And I just it turned right as the bowl like hit and blood went all over the couch and the floor and it was like a 20 minute cleanup. And I just looked at him, I'm like, what happened? And he just goes, I always wished I wouldn't react like that. <laughs> he was genuinely dejected and embarrassed with himself. I was sort of like, why? Why wouldn't I just, why didn't I just? And I, I've known him long enough to, to, to say that that was uncharacteristic of him. He, he's, He's generally he's a little handy when, when it comes to that kind of stuff, but, uh... He's a little better. Um, but yeah. <laughs> what are you, are you angry? I don't know, I'm constantly embarrassed on set. <laughs> I, but I'm also the one who, like, I'm always going for a joke, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Season one, you did smack yourself in the eye with a rifle. That wasn't embarrassing, though, that was just oh. stupid. <laughs> took a little in one thumb out of your finger. Yeah, I was just injuring myself, that was... <laughs> No, that was a, that was a, a, a I, I got, pistol, but... yeah, I got my, uh, the meat of my finger caught in the slide of the gun. Yeah. Ouch. Like, literally goes, I ragged it, and it went, <laughs> which is just, if anybody knows how to, like, handle a gun, is not something that should happen. <laughs> but I don't know why, I don't know what, I don't know what I did, because it shouldn't have happened, and I've done it a million times. Um, but it was literally, like, <laughs> and my, just right there, and, um, Right as they go, and action! <laughs> and I, and I, I yanked it out eyes. of the gun and, oh. and just looked down, and there was just a flap of skin. And, I was like, <laughs> and so I just held my finger together and then did the scene. <laughs> the the uh, uh, Lucifer President uh, wastebasket fire 
with Misha, I couldn't hold my SHIT together. You were like supposed to burn something. There was a scene where he puts a book or something in a wastebasket, and the, the Bible in the wastebasket, and he was being kind of cool Dean, and he grabs it, and he lights a fire, and the fire starts going, and then he's kind of holding the Bible over the fire, but it's, <laughs> but it's really hot, so he's like, well, Sam, we gotta get it. <laughs> Whatever the line was, I ended up just doing this. They had, no one could see it but me, but I could kind of see it like, his hands, like, my hands on fire. <laughs> So yeah, so I lit it and and the first take and it didn't really it didn't really catch. <laughs> and, I mean it did a little bit, but it wasn't it wasn't good enough for you know what we were trying to do. So then the special effects guys come in and they just basically just dunk it in kerosene. <laughs> and they're like, here you go. <laughs> Thanks guys, let me just light this and hold it in my bare hand for five minutes. So I was supposed to light it and then sit there and talk while it like slow burned. It did not slow burn. <laughs> It like combusted in my hand, and so it was like on camera. Listen, when we get to where we're going, I, 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 no. I couldn't hold it together. I think I was laughing. Um, Way back yeah. here on the yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm Allie. This is my best friend Lauren, and we've been thinking. Those don't rhyme. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm Allie, this is my best friend, Martin, and, <laughs> and we've been thinking about this question for like a long time, so this is for both of you. Do you find it challenging to stay true to your authentic self when you are always in character as someone else? Great question. Allie and Morgan? Lauren. 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 <laughs> uh, the question that... Yes and no, I guess. It, it is awkward. I mean, it, it's still, I feel like I have a very good idea of who Sam is. So when I'm on set and about to go on camera, I kind of have an idea because I've done my preparation as well. That having been said, I've certainly been influenced by Sam and by Dean, just as I'm sure in an awkward way, Sam has been influenced by Jared because the writers will watch it or watch the takes or watch, you know, the dailies and go like, oh, I see. Like, Jared seems to be really vibing with this part of Sam. That works. Let's do more of that. Um, and Sam's constantly developing and changing, and I like to think Jared is too. Um, so yeah, it, it is. It's a weird. It's an interesting profession to have to. Because I think he and I also, we don't come from a place of I'm going to pretend to do this as a character. We both try and find the truth in our character. So you really have to kind of empathize with your character and trying to figure out why they would do what they do. So inevitably, invariably, you kind of are uh, affected by that. But I guess me being affected by Sam is still me being my authentic self because I have been affected by my experiences as Sam. Yeah, similar. I'd say there's certainly crossovers. I mean, after playing a character for, for this long, uh, there are similarities, um, not just physical, uh, <laughs> but it's, uh, it, yeah, I would say that again, and echoing his sentiments that, uh, yeah, I've got a very clear understanding of who Dean is, um, and and that is influenced by who I am as a, as a person, and then I've been also influenced by this character that I've gotten to play. It's uh, um, it's an interesting relationship, but uh, something I'm, uh, I enjoy and I'm proud of, and I, I, I love to continue. Um, I think that's it. Isn't that it? Do we have to go now? All right, one one... Uh, I've, I've one uh, one announcement um, to, to to make uh, for those who care. Some of you might not. Some of you could care less. Um, <laughs> I, the, there's a shirt that's being auctioned off that I wore, and the money is going to uh, uh, going to some some cause. I don't know. It's <laughs> it's a good cause. It helps people, helping people. It's a support thing. Uh, well, fan support, whatever that means. Uh, no, it's uh, it is a shirt that, that is a personal shirt of mine. I've worn it uh, at a convention, and uh, so if anybody's interested, it's a good shirt. I like it. Uh, anyway, job. if if not, then I'll just buy it back, and they can take my money. So, uh, Thank you guys. We'll uh, see, see you all later. Thanks. All right, Jennifer.